Time now, 9.48 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station. How you doing? Good, good. All right, what are we doing today? Well, it's a really nice, clear day outside today. We've mm -hmm. heard Kelly talk about that. And so I, I want to talk about clouds, and there are no clouds in the sky, so I thought we'd make a cloud in a bottle. Okay. So whether you're going to make a cloud in the sky or in a bottle, you need three things. Mm -hmm. And the first one's pretty obvious. You need moisture. Yes. You need water vapor. The second one is not so obvious. Now, meteorologists might talk about particulate matter. Mm -hmm. You and I would say dust and junk and pollen in the okay. sky. That that You're moisture. You're talking my level. Okay, okay excellent. <laughs> That's the stuff that uh, the water vapor can condense on. And the final thing you need is a change in temperature or pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got warm air near the surface. It rises like a hot okay. air balloon, cools off, and then that cloud can form as the water vapor condenses out. Okay. So we're going to do that in this bottle, and I'm going to first have you actually put on some safety glasses. Safety goggles, of course, Carl. So we're gonna, we're gonna I feel like you upgraded here. These I are did. stylish. These are, these are That's slick, nice. aren't they? Sorry. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and add some of this rubbing alcohol to the two-liter bottle. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Just dump in a good slug of it there, and then okay, that's good. Okay. And now swish it around inside the bottle. What we really want is a lot of alcohol vapor inside there. We're using alcohol just because it, it'll make a vapor a little bit easier and quicker than regular water. Okay, water. now is this a experiment you would recommend doing at home with adult oh, supervision? Sure, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So this is alcohol that you get just from the drugstore? Rubbing alcohol, yep. yep. Okay. So go ahead and we'll, we'll actually pour that out because we just want the vapor. We don't need any liquid oh, okay. in there. You're going to get a workout here with the <laughs> bicycle pump All because right. what we're going to do is, i got a little adapter here, we're going to stick it on the bottle. Okay. And you're going to pressurize it. Okay. So Tell me when to go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe so. Pumps. Four, what we're doing is creating a high pressure area inside the bottle. All right, that's about not, ten. More? Okay, stop right there. I'm going to suddenly release the pressure inside. Okay. Ooh. And you get a cloud oh, inside wow. the bottle. Oh wow. Okay. Right, neat. Is that cool? Yeah. So you have a cloud inside the bottle, all because that sudden temp, that pressure mm -hmm. drop creates a sudden drop in temperature. Hmm. So you get the uh, cloud to condense. But now. It gets better. Of course right? it does, Carl. It gets better. Because this would be like a low pressure system. Okay. Okay. One that just kind of hangs. Right. Well, okay. You think of low pressure systems, you yeah. think of cloudy, stormy days. Right. So go ahead and pressurize me up again. Okay. And we're going to, it looks as though we're sucking the cloud out. Oh, wow. Look at but that. We're actually pressurizing it. As we pressurize it, we actually warm up the vapor inside of it. Keep going. A couple more. And again, we can do the same thing. Go ahead and stop. Okay. And we release it. Ah. You get a cloud inside the bottle. Wow. That's that cool? neat. Yeah. Nice. That's a good one. So this is just your your average experiment here that you can do at home, but also has deeper meaning here. Exactly. It's, it's a nice demonstration of how a cloud actually forms, or well, there you go. fog, or anything like that. Foggy particles in a bottle. There exactly. You go. Particulate matter. <laughs> particulate matter. <laughs> All right, Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station, and you guys have something special going on today. We do. We have Kid Fest going on. It's mm -hmm. um, really cool uh, obstacle courses, healthy living, all designed around families. Wonderful. And also, if you're a Lucas resident, uh, 12 years and under, you get in free today. Um, but the focus on healthy living stuff goes from 10 to 2. Cool. So come down and check that out, and um, come check everything else out as well. Wonderful. Farm Fest is continuing all throughout right. the month as well, so you still can still see some Still going country down there. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good, Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. Thanks so much for coming in and bringing along your clouds for the day. Let's sure. go check in with Joe. He's got to check sports.